Good evening, sumo fans, and welcome. It is the final day of sumo, day 15, Sunday, July 28th, 2024, and the final Nagoya Bus show in the current venue. Um, and what a send off they got today. Uh, spoiler fingers, uh, you know, definitely make sure you've watched all the matches. You don't want to spoil what happens today. Um, go to the Patreon page if you're on there with me. Watch the matches before you watch this or your other sources. Um, I'm rearranging my my Snoopy figures. Sorry, they fell down. Uh, there is the titular Snoopy. <laughs> um, wow, what a, what a great day of sumo. Starting with Jurio, um, I I put up fifteen mat. No, not fifteen. About twelve matches today. A bunch of Jurio matches, and then all the matches uh, from Makuchi that I needed to put up, and then of course the playoff and the championship interview, very, very taciturn championship interview. Although I will say Terano Fuji looked very pleased uh, that he'd won, which he should. Um, but yeah, I think you could tell like there was an inner satisfaction um, that was kind of coming through. And the fact uh, that he has won a July bus show before, but it was back in 2020 during COVID, when the bus show got moved from Nagoya to Tokyo because they didn't want to have all the wrestlers have to travel. And so he won that July bus show, but uh, it wasn't in Nagoya. It was in Tokyo. So this was the first actual J July bus show that he has been the champion of that was in Nagoya. And he got to do it in front of all those fans. And uh, what a way to send off uh, that venue, uh, but with a championship playoff. Uh, so... Uh, let's jump in and talk about day 15. Now, I'm still going to do a wrap-up video. I'll talk about prizes and, and what to look forward to. Hopefully, some information will come out tomorrow, Monday, Japan, about promotions and demotions and things like that. Maybe some injury updates. So uh, come back. I, I plan on making that on Tuesday the 30th before I fly back to America on the 31st. If something wacky happens, I'll make some short little iPhone video or something and post it from America and just say, Hey, you know, I didn't have time or whatever, but I am pretty sure it's just, I won't have as much information as when I wait kind of a week to do the wrap up video, but check in on that if you're interested. Okay. The, the, the Koku geek on, that's not the right word. The sumo association wastes no time. <laughs> they almost right after uh, the winner, you know, wins, uh, the one bus show, they have them up as the poster boy for the next tournament. They advertise the dates. They talk about when the tickets go on sale. So, uh, yeah, if you click on the main website within hours of the end uh, Japan time of the bus show, you get it sort of spoiled, right? Because there is our winner of the Nagoya bus show. Will he be back in September to fight? In the interview, he said he would. Not explicitly, but a man, the interviewer rather, asked him, like, what are your goals now that you've won 10 you show? And he said, well, I've, I've gotten to the point where I'm doing, I, I feel like I'm finally doing the sumo the way I want to do it. And I want to train harder and work harder. And he kind of just said those kind of things as opposed to, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll be back to defend in September. He can't obviously say he's going to retire at the post bus show interview. Uh, but uh, if you're one of those people that's speculating that might happen, uh, it will happen in the next month or so. Uh, but uh, it won't, ha it didn't happen tonight, obviously. Okay. So <clears throat> let's see. Did anybody pull out of the tournament on the final day? No. Okay. So uh, let's start with the uh, special prize winners. Let's just go down to the champions, tournament champions. So we know Teruna Fuji is our Ozeki, uh, Ozeki Yokozuna champion. Jurio was Shirokuma. Uh, and then all these guys in the lower divisions went 7-0. and So perfect uh, tournaments for them. Daisei Izan, Inami, Seihakuho, and Shimizu Umi in the lower divisions. All right, so there's your six champions. Who got a special prize? Ono Sato got a special prize. <clears throat> the Sekewake uh, got the Shakun Show. 
uh, mostly for beating Teruno Fuji in a match, and then also just good quality sumo. Takanosho, of course, the runner-up, uh, twelve and three record, and uh, got the Kanto Show, the Fighting Spirit Prize. That's no big surprise. Twenty-nine years old, and he fights out of uh, Tokiwayama Stable. And the Ginosho went to the new Komasubi for getting uh, 10 wins at a very tough uh, rank for the very first time, his debut in the Sanyaku. And uh, he, uh, the, the technique prize, good sumo, variety of techniques, and we'll look more into it. Well, let's just jump over there <clears throat> and do that now. So when you go over to the sumo DB, you can click on somebody like Hirada Umi, and then it says by Basho, by a by opponent, and then you can go all bouts by Kimarite. And what it will show you is how many times he's used a certain uh, uh, Kimarite winning technique. Sorry, my brain stopped there for a moment. But that's actually not that helpful because that just accumulates them all together. So what you want to do is go back and say, by Basho. And then it's going to go in chronological order from early in his career, 2016, all the way down to this Nagoya 2024. And what you'll see is that you can see what Kimarite he used to win. The Yorikiri, for instance, against Terunofuji uh, on day one was how Terunofuji beat him. So that's not a Kimarite he used because he lost that match. But all the white circles are Kimarite he used, Tsukiyotoshi, Oshidashi, Yorikiri, Hikiyotoshi and Totari. So he used about five different Kimarite in his 10 wins. And uh, they just felt like he he did a really good job. So he got the Ginosho, which is sort of one of the more prized. Uh, t the Technique Prize is kind of one of the more prestigious ones to win uh, because they have to really feel like you did a good job. Uh, whereas Kentosho often just comes down to numbers and Shakun Show is... Can, pardon me, can come down to just, you know, some factors like, did you beat the eventual winner of the tournament, etc. Okay, so let's jump in. Uh, we'll jump into Jurio. Jurio was fun today. So early in the day, Aoyama finished with a six and nine, by the way, if you're wondering what will happen to the Bulgarian who was a mainstay of the top division. At Jurio 11 with a six and nine, I think he'll be okay. He'll go down probably to Jurio 13 or 14, which is the very bottom of Jurio, but he won't get demoted out to the third tier division. Um, he actually fought the Makushita 1 uh, Kiryu, uh, Kiryuko, uh, who got a win and went 6-1. and one. Very good record. So he'll be up in Jurio. He'll get promoted to Jurio in September. Okay. Hakuoho had to fight Shishi. Shishi entered the match 11-3. Hakuoho needed to beat him to give him four losses like he has. So now he did win. They're both 11 and four. And it was a really fun match. If you can find it, it's on my, my Patreon page. Uh, but uh, if you can find it wherever you watch matches, it's worth seeking out a real cliffhanger at the edge. Um, and Hakuoho emerged victorious. So he did what he had to do to create a three-way playoff. He beat Shishi and now they're both 11 and four. Okay. <laughs> Sushima Nada, 1 in 14. Ouch. Definitely getting demoted. Um, Fuji Seon, definitely staying in. Uh, who's the other Jurio 14? Uh, Nabatame, nope, 4 and 11. He's back down to the third tier. Okay, and so then we get down. Onokatsu finished off with a win over Hideo Umi to go to 9 and 6. He's definitely going to get promoted. Um, and uh, Kitsuno Waka might be the next in line. At uh, Jurio 3 with an 8 and 7. And I think, uh, well, let's go down here. Shirokuma at Jurio 8, the winner of the U Show, 12 and 3 record. He he had to win over Toki Hayate to clinch the title. If he lost, there would have been a three way playoff, but he didn't. He won. Toki Hayate had to win this match to be able to get his Kachikoshi and get promoted to the top division. So, that will not happen now. He will have to stay at Jurio 1 or go down to Jurio 2 and have another shot at it in September. So that was a big loss for him. Uh, but Shirokuma, an even bigger win, Jurio champion. And like I said, there's a good chance that they will promote him 
all the way up to the Makuchi division, depending on, you know, how many spots are open and things like that. So I was hoping for a three-way playoff. It's a lot of fun, but Shiro Kuma did what he had to do and got the win and uh, is the champion. So congratulations to him. Uh, and it's his first uh, championship. So there you go. He, well, not, I take that back. He won uh, in, in the top two divisions, his first championship is what I should have said. Because uh, he's won some titles on his way up. Uh, Jono Kuchi and Joni Don titles. But uh, yeah, uh, great for him. And like I said, if he doesn't go up to the top division, he'll definitely go up to Jurio 1 or 2 and have a shot at getting promoted in September. Okay, then we get into the Makiuchi results for day 15. Uh, Chio Shoma at Maigashira 15 with a, basically a 5 and 10 is going to get demoted. Uh, Wakataki Kage got an 11th win. Not enough for a special prize, but uh, very good to see him getting double digits. Nishiki Fuji at M17, 6-9 record. Not enough to keep him. So both of these guys will probably get demoted. Uh, Chirana Umi finished with a loss, unfortunately, after having a really good tournament uh, in the early stages. A couple losses at the end. But he finishes 10-5, and five, and that's very good. Kageyaki. Goes to 9-6. and six. Rogo went to 9-6 and six by beating Nishikigi. Endo finishes with double digits 10-5 and five by beating Midori Fuji. Shodai finishes with double digits 10-5 and five by beating Mushozan. But as you can see, a lot of these matches, the, their opponent already had Kachikoshi. So it wasn't a huge, you know, a factor either way. This one, though, was a 7-7 seven and seven versus 7-7 seven and seven match. And this is Ichi Yamamoto. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, I missed something there. Uh, versus Oshoma. Oshoma at M9 was 7-7. Seven and seven, Finishes with a losing record, but won't go down that much. And Ichi Yamamoto got the win to finish with a Kachikoshi. Ura finishes 6-9, beating Takara Fuji. Uh, now he's 5-10 and 10 at M13, but that's two ranks higher than this. Uh, yeah, I don't think he'll get demoted out. <laughs> but it certainly isn't good. Five and ten. Yeah, I think he'll just go down to like M16. Uh, but we'll see. Matakeyumi almost a Kachikoshi this tournament, but seven and eight record after a final win on day 15. Kim Bozon, though, four and eleven. He'll be plummeting. So will Ryudan at M8 at three and twelve. Not enough to take him all the way out, I don't think, but a, uh, certainly a, a big a big drop down. Wakamoto Haru, 6-9 with a final day win, but still a losing record. A lot of these guys all had losing records in here, so it's just a matter of did they get a win or not. Atami Fuji goes to 7-8. and eight. Uh, Gonoyama went up to 5-10. and 10. Then we get into the Sanyaku. Hirada Umi winning on the final day, 10-5, and five, so double digits for him, great. And he beat Koto Shoho. Uh, Oho beat Daesho to go to 9-6. and six. This was the one other Darwin match. Kirishima and Tamawashi both seven and seven, but uh, Kirishima getting the win to go to eight and seven. So he got his Kachikoshi. He'll stay at Sekewake and Tamawashi, you know, just down a rank or two from his Maigashira nine position. So that was a big win for Kirishima, I think, just psychologically to at least stay at Sekewake after being demoted out of Ozeki for good. Not for good, but for now. Um, and we'll see how he handles being Sekewake in September. Uh, Takenosho, of course, as you know, had to win to have any chance at the playoff. He did. He beat Ono Sato. Uh, so he finished 12-3. and three. Ono Sato didn't get his double-digit wins for the first time in the top two divisions. But a 9-6, and six, respectable. And even with that 9-6, and six, if he can get 12 wins or more uh, at Sekewake in... September, I think they'll promote him to Ozeki. Abi uh, against Tobizaru, both men going into that match 8-6. and six. Tobizaru was the winner. Shonana Umi versus Takakesho in a doesn't really matter match, but Shonana Umi went to 7-8. and eight. Uh, Matters a little bit to him because that'll only mean he'll probably just fall down to Maigashira 6. Takakesho, you already knew he was going to be Sekewake. And so he's in the position where he has to get the 10 wins. And then the final match of the day, and, and and a genuine surprise in a lot of ways, because if you look at Koto Zakura, uh, let's see, how do we go back? No, nope, we want to go just to home. And you look at Koto Zakura by opponent, 
and then you have to scroll down to the T's and find Teruno Fuji. There you go. Look at <laughs> he had never beaten all black circles, never beaten Teruno Fuji. This is a Jurio match, but in the top division, what seven matches or so until today. Today was the first time he'd ever beaten the Yokozuna, and uh, just a fantastic. Uh, match so he goes to 10 and 5 does the best of the three ozeki of course and teruna fuji finishes 12 and 3 the same as takanosho and then we got the playoff and they both came back out and takanosho put up a good fight i gotta tell you um but uh it was just teruna fuji's destiny or his day and he was the winner and uh i screamed a lot and <laughs> i really enjoyed it it was exciting and uh, and he is the Nagoya champion for 2024. Takanosho, uh, obviously, he got a special prize. Uh, and those special prizes are worth about 2 million yen, which is about, it used to be, you know, the 100 yen to the dollar. You used to think of it as about $20,000 American. But nowadays, it's worth about fourteen, thirteen, dollars or $14,000. And it's an annual stipend. And it would have been a Kimboshi. Uh, no, it wouldn't have been. Sorry, sorry. He got the Kimboshi yesterday. That's my bad. Um, but uh, yeah, and then he would have obviously won the Emperor's Cup, which is huge, and all the prizes you get, and etc. Um, and you get bonuses. The Sumo Association gives bonuses for winning and things like that. But Terano Fuji was the winner, his 10th U show. So there it is. Makuchi titles 10 makes him a Dai Yokozuna. And if we go over to uh, the Wikipedia page for Teru, are you guys watching the Olympics? I haven't really watched hardly any of it. Um, and we we scroll down. What we see is, of course, Teru Fuji won a U show in 2015, early in the days on his run up to becoming an Ozeki, and he went 12 and three. And uh, that's that's his one uh, U show before the catastrophic injury, right? And he had to sit out and sit out and sit out and sit, sit, sit out. Then he started to come back in 2019, all the way from uh, the fifth tier division, work his way back up. And right when he comes back in at uh, in 2020, this is uh, the July boss show that we're talking about that didn't happen in Nagoya. He wins with a 13 and two his second U show. Then he has this amazing year in 2021 where he's wins four of the championships and the other two he's runner up. Um, and uh, this, this, this one famously where he's 14 and one here is the July boss show where Hakuho got the Zen show. You show 15 and zero, and, uh, uh, and he got his own Zen show. You show that year at 15 and zero in uh, Fukuoka in November and then just kind of won and won. And then we thought, well, maybe he got one this year, 2024. But no, he's in, he's now had two. So uh, there's his 10. Uh, took a while, <laughs> almost, uh, well, basically 10 years uh, of sumo. But he is a Dai Yokozuna now. And I said I would talk to, uh, when I was making the videos, that I would look at a uh, list of sumo top division champions. So, no, I think I just want sumo records. Let's see if that's down at the bottom. Sumo record holders. Here we go. Okay. So, most career wins. No, most consecutive wins. Tomawashi's on a lot of these lists. Career bouts, top division bouts, tournaments. Tomawashi there, say eight, eight, seven. Ranked at Ozeki. Okay. Special prizes, gold stars. Hmm. Where are the Yokozuna? Uh, okay. That's most top division. Ah, uh, okay. I see. So it's this, it's this chart I want to see, but I want to see beyond Akebono, who got 11. Uh, but anyway, there you go. You can see how few people are on this list. Um, there are a number of guys, I believe, who are right below here with 10 Yusho. Uh, but I don't think it's many. 
Um, Teruno Fuji is now on that list. And then you get Akebono with 11, Musashi Maru and Futabayama with 12, Wajima with 14. And then you get up above 20 into the rarefied air, Takanohana, Kitanumi, Asashoru. And then the really rarefied air for a long time, uh, people thought, wow, you know, who's going to get 32 wins uh, in their career? This is Taiho and Chion, Chion, Chiono Fuji. And then Hakuho just obliterated it and kept winning and now has and finished with 45, uh, which will, I, you know, will never be equaled. Um, but there you go. Uh, so he is right off this list, but still the, 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 the threshold of 10 is the threshold. And if you look at, for instance, one of my favorite wrestlers, Harama Fuji, I think he only got nine. Kakiru, I think, got six. Um, actually, if we go back to that other list that we were looking at, let's go back a few here. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Nope. I'm going to go back one more. Do, 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 do. Top division runners up. Why would you want that? Nope, 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 nope. This might be it, though. Yeah, here we go. So here it, it tells you the number. Uh, so yeah, Kakuru had six. Uh, let's see. Kisanosato, of course, only had two. Uh, duh, duh, duh. There's Terano Fuji's first in 2015. Fuji had five, six, seven. Did he get more? Eight, nine. Yeah, he had nine. So he got close, but his career was cut short. Asashoru, obviously, up in the 20s, and etc. So, uh, yeah, you know, definitely the mark of a great Yokozuna. Okay, uh, standings. Tom Cope and TBB tied for first place uh, with 59 points. Congratulations to both of them uh, with slightly different teams. Uh, a big difference here, but then a big difference here to balance it out, and a slight difference here. And the tiebreaker, which I'm Glad I'm using these days. Uh, TBB picked Terano Fuji as the first person to get Kachikoshi. So he gets the Tegata prize. If he doesn't want it for some reason, then Tom can claim it. And then I will send out prizes to Roly and Francis as well. So these four people will get prizes. And uh, it might not happen if you're watching and you're one of those four people and you're watching. Um, I'll send you an email tomorrow, but it might not happen. The prize might not happen till end of August when I get back from the States. Uh, but uh, I'll do my best. Of course, I, I'm not sending out the uh, Tegata prize. That will be Jeff over at Buy Sumo Tickets. So, uh, yeah, uh, he, he's been very good about sending those out, and people get them in a very timely manner. Okay, so the Patreon page experiment went well. Um, you know, we've got the community board going, uh, discussion boards for each day. Um a little bit more interaction with the fans, uh, which is nice. Um, lots of videos using the NHK footage has been fun. And uh, <laughs> I put up this bonus, so I didn't want to spoil the playoff. And uh, yeah, just uh, Koryori Sanyaku there. And as you see, I've been numbering them uh, to help people because uh, I still don't know that the playlist auto plays in Patreon. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy with it, and I'm hoping that uh, <clears throat> the people that have gone by and spent their $1 or slightly more are uh, happy with the coverage for Nagoya, and we'll come back in September, and we'll watch some more sumo together. Uh, for all of you guys that have come by, I'm glad that so many of you are still coming here on YouTube and watching with me e each evening, or not watching, but recapping and summarizing with me each evening and uh, it's nice to keep the sumo community going and uh you know still giving out prizes for the youtube people and uh don't want to forget about you guys when the live stream was really fun last night uh, a lot of people came by and we had a good chat um so that's up on the channel it might not be i put it in the playlist i think but it might not be easily like you might not have gotten the same notification about it but just go on the channel and you'll see it um, and then, like I said, I will do a wrap up video and maybe try to do something fun in August, uh, for everybody. No, no unboxings or anything coming up, no new sumo cards for the rest of the year, but we'll, we'll think of something. Okay. 
So thank you again for watching. I don't want to say all my thank yous because I am going to do a wrap-up video in just a few days. But a good day of action. No matches to look forward to for tomorrow. We're done. But the next boss show will be very interesting. And the Bonds K for that comes out on August 26th, which is a Monday. And the boss show starts September 8th. Sunday, September 8th. Okay. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.